welcome to today's video <clears throat> so you know what i'm going to talk about is a bit different it's not an unboxing today uh, or a review but basically i um, just wanted to share with you guys on why i sold my chanel 19 um the one in white so i'll put in relevant pictures and videos when i can still find them um, but basically the major reason why i sold the chanel 19 well to be really honest with you when the chanel 19 first came out I was not a fan. I wasn't a fan of like the giant quilts and I kind of like, you know, like the a classic quilt look more that, you know, I have on my cocoa handle um, and the mini reissue and, you know, some of my, my vintage, like the Chanel square flap that I've had for ages. So if you're really considering to buy the Chanel 19, um, okay, so here are the reasons why um, I sold them and I sold it and I thought this could be useful for you before you uh, pull the plug, so to speak. So, okay, firstly, it was just too soft for my liking. So I always had an insert or an organizer inside the bag to make sure that it doesn't lose too much structure. But to be honest, if you're a lover of structured bags, um, I think maybe you shouldn't go for Chanel 19 because basically it is not a structured bag. It's supposed to be a more casual take on the a fun take on the classic flap you know i did like the details on the chain i liked how it combines the few hardware different colors together and i also liked you know that it could be uh you have a little handle where it fits the crook of your arm and also it goes on your shoulder so that's another problem like i totally did not like the strap on my shoulder at all it was um it always came off my shoulder and because there was a little show a leather insert at the shoulder part which is supposed to make it more comfortable it doesn't mold to most people's shoulders because the uh that leather bit is just too long and too um thick i guess now i think i complained about that when i was doing a review of this um when I was reviewing the my Chanel 19 before I sold it. So it took me quite a while to decide if I wanted to sell it or not because you know Chanel prices keep increasing and I'm pretty sure Chanel 19 also went up a lot in prices. Well, one good thing about Chanel bags is that if you do get bored and if you've changed your mind and you decide that you don't like it anymore, if it is a relatively popular design, you can definitely sell it at very low loss or even break even, you know, considering that you have used the bag. But as you know, I baby my bags and because it was white and it's lambskin, I took extra, extra care of um, the Chanel 19. So when I sold it to uh, another person, it was almost like it was like new because I didn't really get to use it much either because it was during the lockdown when I purchased that bag. So that's on the uh, lack of structure, it being too soft and the strap being uncomfortable. Another thing is that I really felt that the white that I picked was just too stark white. I think if it was a off-white or kind of a creamier color, i.e. not stark white, it would have been better and easier to match with a lot of things because it was so stark white i felt like sometimes it was like very glaring in a way uh, but i mean i guess if you're a lover of white you might still find it pretty but i just thought that it was a bit too glaring after a while after a few times i used it so that was another reason um what i did like about the bag is that it had a very roomy back pocket which you cannot really find on most chanel flaps because a lot of back pockets on chanel flaps are almost all for decoration and i don't really use the back flap the uh, outer flap but for the chanel 19 you can you can fit a phone etc so it's almost like a pillow but to me i felt it was a very expensive pillow so um you know i, I thought that it wasn't a good use of my money for it to sit in my um, cabinet basically so i do use my cocoa handles the most and even the mini reissue the um, what I have you can see here. I use that a lot as well. It's just very easy to put on and go and um, Yeah, it's not too big. Maybe I'm just not a fan of big bags But if I want like something more, you know roomy uh, something roomier now I have my garden party, which I didn't have at that time So yeah, I decided to sell the Chanel 19 and in terms of the aesthetics, right? It is really a matter of taste. I know that Chanel 19 has their own has its own legion of fans just like Gabrielle, which is also um, not on my radar i don't i don't know i just don't like it it doesn't really make my heart sing um yeah if so another question would be right right like my girlfriend was asking me would i buy another chanel 19 um in future 
you know to be honest i don't think so but if i really wanted to i might buy the one in tweed because i've tried on one in tweed and the tweed one seems to be more structured maybe because of the material it's not lambskin it is uh pretty thick and uh, as you know chanel tweed is very high quality it's just the maintenance of that bag because if you get it dirty then it's going to be pretty difficult to get any dirt out of fabric i should have chosen uh i should have chose a darker color even navy because you know i'm not big fan of black bags um maybe even navy that they, they had a navy tweed so i don't know going forward if i do look into chanel 19 again it might be that but chanel has so many new designs and new colors coming up especially for coco handle and um there's there's a new bag called my perfect mini um bag which basically i'm actually I'm on the list for guys for the next uh season in cruise i think that's coming in november so yeah guys that i just wanted to share with you you know because i usually don't do this kind of videos because i just want to like usually i just stick to like unboxing and you know conventional stuff but i thought this might be interesting for someone some of you who might be considering getting a chanel 19 and i'm just sharing why i sold my chanel 19 flap um do i regret selling it i mean not really sometimes maybe i think now i have a hole i need a, a white bag uh, but probably because of my lesson learned i'm probably gonna get the um off white or cream rather than a stark white just to summarize in terms of aesthetics i don't think this bag is gonna last for a very long time in terms of its hotness just like how the boy you know in unfortunately i feel that it looks a bit dated now so i was just reflecting on all the bags that i have right it's really the classics that stay on because as you know i've been buying bags since a very very long time ago when i was a kid um i mean not a kid maybe 12 or 14 um yeah so like from dior i would only really want to buy the um abc dior or lady dior because that's really their most classic you know which i have their shoulder bags are nice you know if you have unlimited budget and just want to buy bags i think it's fine but you know i really want to stick to stuff that i know i can use for a very very long time coco handles you might think that they haven't been out for a long time but actually chanel has had this shape and design for a very very long time at least 20 30 years ago so uh, my mom also even had one and so these are the kind of classic shapes and of course the classic flap as well you know medium jumbo uh, mini those would never really go out of style even though they might not be so hot right now and so that's why i'm actually uh going for a birkin and kelly later because i think with my style i should stick to you know stuff that will last forever like i, I know that i did the gucci video and lv and i think those bags while they might be fun they are more really just for fun and if you know um you have a lot of um extra budget for luxury purchases you know you definitely get something that you think that is fun uh but for me i sometimes get tempted by stuff like this but i've been buying a lot of jewelry this year as you can tell from dior and van cleef and you know, cartier uh, which i get a lot of wear off so you can i mean you can definitely wear jewelry more times than a bag i feel so but i still love bags definitely there's just something nice uh really fun about a new bag right playing around with it so i am on the list for two chanel bags guys so i hope to do the unboxing really really soon um no stock yet because i want to go for color uh the white one maybe i'll think about it later maybe i'll get a white lady dior even though i think think feel like it is a bit close to my dusty pink dior that you can see there so yeah uh, i'll think about that so i just want to share with you guys why i sold my chanel 19 and you know um so do think about it they do have uh, the 19 in a wallet on chain as well and that's actually more structured just because it's much smaller and by the way my chanel 19 is the small was the small size so if you buy the large size it would even sag even more so basically without the insert the bottom of the bag totally sags down which is not a good look in my opinion so i don't know uh, i'm just a structured bag girl i guess so i just want to share with you guys before you go and buy it just try it on many times and think about you know whether you think you'll still like this bag after five years after 10 years but then again you can always sell it you know if you really got bored of it um, before then but you know it is a hassle and i was lucky to meet a good buyer because uh, i am a member of the purse forum i've been a member for a long time i'm an og so if you're a purse forum member do give me a shout out uh, do say hi 
So yeah, I hope you liked today's video guys. It's just sharing my thoughts and hopefully this is of use to you. And if you watched this far, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.